These are my fluorescent lights that came from my laundry. And in this video, I'll show you how to convert these fluorescent lights into LEDs. Let's begin. It's always a good idea to turn off your circuit breaker before starting your project. So first, you're gonna have to take this cover off by gently pulling this with both hands on one side first, and then you kind of push it out like this. Looking at one end, you'll see this gap, and that's where you wanna take it out, out of. I have to twist it towards me in a counterclock direction until it comes out like this, and then you basically pull it out. Here's what it looks like when you take it off. As you can see, it could basically guide you through that path. It's a good idea to measure your old light so that you know you bought the right replacement. So mine came out to be about 48 inches and the diameter is about an inch and a half. When buying new LEDs, you gotta make sure you buy the right ones. So the ones I bought, it says direct wire ballast bypass. And also you see that I have T8 and T12 compatible LED. So T8s are the one inch diameter and T12s are the inch and a half diameter. I have inch and a half diameter. So this ensures that these lights will work for my application. Another thing about these bulbs, they're 16 watts and 5,000 K for the temperature. So we'll see how well they do. Here's what's all came in the box. I have my two LED lights, some new end connectors with wires, another connectors with wire nuts, new stickers to let people know if I ever get rid of this house. So whoever replacing these bulbs so that they know they have been converted to LEDs and some instructions. Next, we're gonna remove this cover by squeezing it and getting it out of the tabs. Next, I'm gonna remove these wire nuts just so that I can disconnect my current system from the power. I'm gonna remove these old holders by sliding them out like this on both sides. They practically just almost fall out. And remove the ballast. It's held by one screw right here and then it's held into the tab so you remove the screw and pop it out. Next, I'm gonna take one of these and install them on this side. These are the ones without the wires and they just slide into these slots right here and just go like this. Before proceeding with installation, make sure you read all the instructions because there are some warning signs about some specific lighting that you might have that might not be applicable for your application. So make sure you read through all your instructions for the light bulbs that you bought. There's some special instructions here that tells you how to identify whether it's an instant start ballast, if that's what you have. And if that's what you have, you might have to use something else or do different steps. Anyway, for mine, we're just basically going to do this setup. This is after the retrofit where we're hooking up the hot and neutral and hooking them up like this. One side won't have any wiring and one side will have the wiring. So the idea here is we're gonna leave one of these the same length, we're not gonna touch them, and we're gonna use the white to go to the white and the black go into the black. Kind of what they have here on the old one, like this. So I have this handy dandy tool that I recently got that I'm gonna use to trim my wire. So we'll trim it right about here on both ends. And then, this is why I got this tool. You basically put your wire right here like this, and then boom, it cuts it off. And it's a little too short. Let me cut a little bit more, like that. See, so that way you don't have to use a knife like I used to use. Anyway, now we're gonna put the white one in here, like this. See, it grips it as soon as I put it in. And then the black one, like this. And then here's my setup. To make it nicer, I twisted them like this before I installed them. So here's how I installed them on this side, and now we're gonna wire it. So I had to make little jumpers because these weren't long enough to reach. So now I have four wire nuts here instead of just two, but it'll work. Install the cover back on. So it's a little tricky, but after finessing with it, you can get it done. And then that's it, put the light bulbs in. So you slide them in through this little hole on both sides and then twist them until you hear it lock. Like this. Make sure it's nice and secure, like that. Turn the power back on. And we test out the light. Oh yeah, looks nice. Next, I'm gonna install the sticker so that they know these are LEDs. So installing this back up, there's a little ridge right here. Just hook it on one side, and bring it over to this side, and hook it like that. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you like this video, smash that like button. And don't forget to check out this video right here where I converted one light into two lights in my master bathroom.